What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Arcway, home of menswear and styling. My name is Tulu, your fashion consultant. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on cargos. I'm gonna help you guys find the best cargos from a luxury wear to an everyday wear. So I'll be having a tier system, so I'll be rating and validating which companies I feel personally will fit the best based on your needs. So you guys can be practical and stylish at the same time. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys do yourself a favor by subscribing down below, hit the thumbs up on this video, and if you guys haven't, check out the newsletter at arcway.com so you guys can stay informed of weekly content regarding exclusive information about what's going on behind the scenes, newsletters, and contests. Are you guys ready? Let's go. So just like I mentioned in the beginning of the intro, we're going to go for a tier system here. So here is all the companies that we're going to be reviewing, and I'm going to be ranking them as we talk about them. So first brand I'm gonna be talking about is an e-commerce brand, it's called ASOS, and they are based in the UK. So what essentially it is, it's a wholesaler of multiple companies, basically selling their products on the platforms. So for example, you can see stuff like Puma, Nike, and other such brands. It could be from local brands to big box brands that are, that are global as well. So you're gonna find a lot of variety, especially at a discounted price and also a cheaper price all around. So if you're looking for something in terms of cargos and you're on a price point budget or you're a student, definitely looking to ASOS, but I have to put ASOS in the category of the F. But don't get me wrong, there's a lot of options that you can purchase on ASOS and don't be afraid to check them out because I found great products on there myself. The next company I have to go for in terms of cargo pants, and my personal preference, I have to put Banana Republic in the E category. The reason why is if you guys are looking for something that's a little more defined and refined, and you want a little more that has a little bit better quality than your basic H&M, then check out Banana Republic. They can offer an upscale version of H&M when it does come down to cargos from cottons to linens to wools as well. So if you are on that category of the step up from H&M or your basic Zara or ASOS, check out Banana Republic because they have a nice selection of pants. They're very minimalistic, very neutral tone colors, and they have various styles as well. Banana Republic is more catered to the business casual style, so if that's you, definitely check them out. So next one on my list is called Mango Men. They focus on fast fashion, so they want to redefine what fast fashion is in their own perspective and cater to their own audience in Spain. So I do like them a lot, even though it's an upscale version of what you'll find out in North America, but you'll find a lot more uh, different pieces, a lot more elegant, a lot more thought, more put into the designs, and I actually have a big appreciation for that. So check out Mango Men online because they have a great selection of cargos. Everything from a sweatpant cargo to more of a casual to more of a high-end looking one as well. They actually pair out their items pretty well. You can see on the models and see how it's fit. You can give you guys examples on how to wear certain clothing as well. So I have to put Mango Men in the D category because we do have a lot more cargos to go through. But at the same time, it is in that level of standard for me. So. I have to put it in D. The next one on the list is called Orslo. This is a brand I recently found out and it is a Japanese based brand. They create one of ones in terms of like one style of one thing. So for example, they have like jeans. If I said that right, I don't know if I said that right, but they have jeans and they, and they create individual jeans and it's all like man-made, right? So it's, it's all man-made products, which is really, really important when it comes down to people that care about the quality of clothing and have appreciation for something that takes time. They really, really cater and care about the craftsmanship of their products. So if you're looking for something that has a Japanese influence and you want it to be the craftsmanship and you really appreciate that, definitely look into or slow because they're going to provide you with great, great resources. They're going to provide you guys with a great bundle of different pieces that you guys check out with cargos. I have to put them in the C category. The next one on my list is Nike collaboration of ACG. I think I believe this brand is pretty dope. At the same time, they have dope designs, dope looks. And for me personally, I love the innovation they have with the Nike Lab. And it's something about the ACG collections that is quite unique. It quite stand, it really stands out. Something about the ACG collaborations that really stand out to me and I always liked and appreciated what they have. And it always seems to be like it's a one-of-one one or a limited amount of size 
uh, or size runs or styles. So it always made me want to get involved with one net, right? So if you guys can check out ACG, definitely do so. I've seen them before. I've seen some vintage pickups, some fire cargoes back in the day. Couldn't pick them up because they're too small for me, but ACG is definitely on my radar of cargoes to pick up. ACG is pretty dope. If you guys haven't tried them out before, let me know your comments and thoughts on ACG because I haven't purchased a pair myself and I'm curious to know how they actually fit. So if you guys have experience, just let us know in the comment section down below. So I have to put ACG in the B category because it's up there, it's world renowned, but at the same time, they do have that brand recognition as well. So they're gonna have a level of certain standards to live by. So the next one on the list is called Brunello Cucinelli. And this brand is from Italy, and I just found out about this brand. It's more of a bespoke tailoring, and everything they do is really crafted for the person who's gonna buy the item. So it's a type of brand where you go into the store, they're gonna size you up, and they fit everything custom to your body. So when it comes down to cargoes, how sick would that be when having some tailored cargoes shaped to your body or shaped to your dimensions that fit you best based on your lifestyle and the way of living? So Brunello Cucinelli is a brand I'll love to explore in the future. I'll love to check out their place in Italy. At the same time, I'll just love to see what they're really about when it comes down to the craftsmanship of their items. I do have an appreciation for luxury items like this, so I had to put this in the A category because this is something that I can see myself wearing for the long term, but at the same time, something that actually has a brand appreciation within clothing. So alongside that, in the A category, I have to talk about Tom Sweeney. Uh, they are a brand from the UK and I'm British myself, so I do have appreciation and love for bespoke tailoring. So when it comes down to that, just like Brunello Cucinelli, it's a brand that focuses on the traditional Englishman tailorship of the clothing. So I can't imagine how a suit may feel, never, never mind a pair of cargoes. So having a pair of cargoes yet again, is that it's the craftsmanship that's behind it that really, really matters. And you can just tell within the details and the brand and how they carry themselves that this is a brand that will last forever in terms of quality and, and, and branding. So you want to get something that has that long-term longevity in it. And I always talk about investing into your pieces. So if you have to put up a hundred more dollars for certain items, I always encourage you guys to do so. One, because it's a certain lifestyle of thinking. And two, it makes you realize how much appreciation people put into certain items. And the long-term longevity of it will actually hold up. And you actually treat your clothing differently. It's funny how your most expensive things are your most precious things. Isn't that right? So that's what keep that in mind for you guys. I'm definitely gonna look into Tom Sweeney a lot more and I purchase a lot more brands from the 80 categories and the double S categories. So one of my favorite brands coming out of Italy is called Stone Island, and I have to talk about Stone Island. So I love what they have, I love their collections in terms of priority, I love what they do and they produce. Um, you can definitely see within the quality and the materials that they do care about the process of each individual garment. And if you guys haven't checked it out in store before, I encourage you guys to do so. There is one in Toronto, in York, and that's something I've explored myself. I want to actually get the Stony Island book and I actually got it at Chapters. But to definitely check out their cargoes in person. It's a different experience than seeing it on the screen. And this is something that you guys can really appreciate. And if you guys own a pair of Stonies, put in the comment section down below. I know on Grail, they always have some for resale. But if you really want to purchase one off the, off the rip, off the company, definitely look into buying one and definitely invest yourself into getting a piece like this. Not only that is elegant, it's a status symbol as well. Um, at the same time, you're gonna be walking different. You have a little bit more confidence in what you do. Not saying clothes is the reason you're confident. You are the reason you're confident, but having something like this makes you realize your way of lifestyle of living is complementing to how you think. So a Stone Island for me is that brand I'll definitely be rocking when it comes down to cargoes a lot more. So I had to put that in the double S category. Next one on the list is called John Elliott. John Elliott is an American designer and they were established in 2012. And the cool thing about them is that they're very simple when it comes down to their tailor fits and they're very minimalistic. So it hits all the check marks for myself. And if you're looking for an American brand, I definitely encourage you guys to check them out. They actually have a nice selection of sweatpants, but also when it comes down to cargoes, not only pants being their Pacific thing, but also cargoes as well. I love to see what they have in terms of the collection and see how they expand throughout the years. So it is on a pricier point level, but at the same time, quality over quantity. And I have to put that in the A category. So if you guys actually have purchased John Elliott's before in the past, let us know in the comment section down below. Let us know how it went.
One of my favorite brands and that's going to be G-Star. G-Star is from Amsterdam and one thing I do like about G-Star is that they're eco-friendly conscious. Not only that fabrics is the important part of G-Star but also the material where they use and how they manufacture their products. They really really care about the environment and that's super cool to see within a brand of Genom and it's really cool to see the styles they create. I just like the European, there's something about the European style when it comes down to the cargoes. They had this cargo that was kind of shaped like a bow leg before and it was really really stylish really really thin if i have a picture i'll show you guys but those are one of my favorite pants growing up and i still love them to this day and i'm definitely going to encourage you guys to check out g-star if you guys are looking for a pair of g-star cargos definitely check them out because they always have a fire collection obviously in the basic colorways of the greens the blacks and the navies as well and the browns so yeah so they have a fire collection doesn't matter what color you're looking for it can be the blacks the browns the it can be the blacks, the browns, the navies, the greens. Just check out G-Star because I'm telling you guys, G-Star is probably like my, one of my favorite brands. So for that being said, I had to put G-Star in the B category and I felt like that was rightfully so. Next one we get into is called Carhartts, but they are known for the workman style, but they do have some nice cargos there. So I had to put that in the B category. I'm gonna spend workman pants a little bit later, but for now, Carhartts, in terms of cargos, they have a nice selection you guys can pick from. If you guys are looking for something that has a little more pockets than the rest, cargos in cargos, Carhartt cargos are the place to be. Um, they have a nice selection of styles. They have a nice selection of styles, but if you want that, if you want that workmanship background in terms of your material and in terms of the products that you're wearing, check out Carhartts. And I had to put them in the B category. I know you guys heard of BBC, Human Made, Bape, but within Bape, there's a sister company. It's called Ape, A-A-P-E. So Nigo actually made a brand that kind of goes into the archive of the early 90s and redefines the old classics. What you can find here is the archive designs on new garments. So when it comes down to cargoes, they have a plethora. Did I say it right? Plethora? So when it does come down to cargoes, they have a wide range of cargoes that you guys can pick from. And I've seen some really, really dope stylish cargoes that you guys can actually apply into your wardrobe. For me, I never got into Bape. I, I never got into Bape, I always admired it. But for Ape being a secondary option at a price point level that is accessible for myself at this point in time, I can dive into that. So next one on the list is called Daily Paper and they're coming out of Amsterdam. And the cool thing about them is that it's African inspired with a modern twist to it. So you're gonna talk about African colorways, you're gonna talk about patterns, designs, but it has this modern look to it, which is really, really cool. And it's really nice to see because it gives you a refreshing take on African culture, but at the same time in a modern twist. So as you guys can see with multiple colors within the cargos and styles, this brand to me is almost like a one of one because you don't really see brands have the African influence in their garments like this. And it's great to see this in a modern way. So I think this brand is gonna be emerging throughout the years. I'm definitely gonna purchase a couple of cargos to let you guys know how it goes for myself. And let us know in the comment section down below if you guys have purchased something from Daily Paper. So I had to put Daily Paper in the C category because I do feel like they're still on their way up, but at the same time, I'm excited to see where we're gonna go with it. So next one on the list is called Panagonia. Panagonia is outdoor company, outdoor base, lifestyle living. And what you're gonna find here is a lot of items for trail running, trail walking. So you're gonna find a lot of great garments. So if you're looking for car carts for the outdoors, Panagonia is your friend. They have specialized in outdoor leisure wear. So you're gonna find a lot of things and a lot of things are accessible for you in terms of that. So in terms of hiking and trail walking, I know there's a lot of things that needs to be done in terms of those environments. You need a lot more breathability, a lot more comfort, less restrictions. So, so the Patagonia provides a lot of that within their cargo. So it'll actually help you out in terms of your trail running and hiking and any outdoor activities you may have. The next one on my list is called Uniqlo. Uniqlo is more of a Japanese essential base brand where you'll find the essentials that you can get at H&M but they're way more better than what they offer there because it's a lot more quality and attention into the products but they're actually everyday essentials that you can buy. So when it comes down to cargos you can actually find a collection of cargos there in various colors but keep in mind they do sell it pretty fast and I always encourage you guys to grab 
And I always encourage you guys to grab a pair as soon as possible because buying cargoes online at this place isn't easy to pick up all the time. But if you guys are near your local store, definitely check them out. So I had to put Uniqlo in the D category, rightfully so. And for the next one on my list is called Dime. Dime is a Canadian based Montreal brand and they're specialized in creativity and skateboarding. So what you're gonna see with them is a lot more creative, funky designs and a lot more baggier, looser looks because it is for the skateboard world. So if you want something that's a little more looser, a little more 90s, a lot more funk to it, definitely check out their designs. I always find them always funny and encouraging. And at the same time, it makes you think about Bit different when it comes down to style so i always found that they always push the envelope not only within their own company and their competitions of skateboarding but with even with their own clothes i love that self-expression that you can communicate through clothes so what you can find at dime is something that's a dime a dozen no pun intended but you can really find something there that you guys would actually truly like let me know if you guys actually shopped the dime before and let me know if you actually seen someone wear it before so I had to put Dime in the C category because there's a lot of potential with this brand. At the same time, I'm excited to see where they're going to go from here. So next one on the list is called Amy Leon Dora, and I have to put that in the double S category because I like how they have this contemporary look to streetwear. It's more of a redefined look and it's really, really stylish and at the same time, anyone can wear it. So I've seen their cargoes before, I've seen my friends wear them, and I gotta tell you, there's something about that brand that really can gravitate towards you, and I feel like they carry their brand in a certain way, and it makes you wanna purchase it because you know that value is aligned for yourself. So for, a a so for ALD, they have a great collection of cargoes. So ALD, they sell it pretty fast. I'm keeping in mind they can go just like that. So make sure you grab yourself a pair, sign up for the email listings as well and make sure to stay in tune for their updates because once they drop, they're dropping, then they're gone. So, so if you guys got a pair of cargoes from ALD, let us know in the comment section down below. And also let us know what you guys think of this list, this category. Let me know what your guys' favorite cargo company is because I'd love to do a part two on this or I'd just love to dive in a community with you guys and talk about where we can resource the best products. Yet again, my name is Tulu, your fashion consultant, and I'm glad you guys are here. If you guys haven't, make sure you guys subscribe down below, hit the thumbs up on this video, and check out arcway.com so you guys can stay informed with blog posts that we post in weekly, at the same time, news updates and exclusive content. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Yet again, my name is Tulu, and I'll see you soon. Peace.